This is the Interlop Belly. This is I like singing. Welcome to Five Minutes with Dan, starring Pavlos and Angela Pavlidis, where you get to spend a few minutes with the smartest and coolest kids in the whole world, and they're dead too. And now, here are your hosts, Pavlos, Angela, and Nick Pavlidis. Hey everybody, this is Nick Pavlidis, and thank you so much for being here for another episode of 5 Minutes with Dad. This is the podcast where you get to listen in on a little father-son and daddy-daughter time with me, my six-year-old son, Pavlos, and my three-year-old daughter, Angela. Before I play today's episode, I want to thank you again for everyone who has supported our marriage book, Confessions of a Terrible Husband. If you haven't picked up your copy yet, you can get it at aterriblehusband.com slash book if you want a signed copy. Or 5minuteswithdad.com slash marriage book if you want to get it straight from Amazon in print or Kindle version. Okay, today's resource of the week is a book that is, I think, a great book to go along with Confessions of a Terrible Husband, and it is called Happier at Home by Gretchen Rubin. She's a number one New York Times bestselling author. She has a new book out about habits, which is pretty cool. I interviewed her on my other podcast, Confessions of a Terrible Husband, on how to make and break habits in a way that supports and improves your marriages. So Happier at Home is a book that came out before that. It's called Happier at Home, Kiss More, Jump More, Abandon Self-Control, and My Other Experiments in Everyday Life. How to Make Your Home home a happier place. So check it out. I'm going to give you two ways to get it. You can get it at five minutes with dad.com slash happier at home. That's our affiliate link to send you over to Amazon to pick it up. Or if you want to get it for free, you can get the audio version for free on audible. If you're not yet a member of audible by going to audible trial.com slash Nick, that is a code, a sponsor code for the show that'll send you to audible and give you one free book. If you're new to audible in a 30 day trial and you can get happier at home audio version there for free because you're listening to a podcast. I know you like hearing things in earbuds. So check that out if you're not yet an audible subscriber and you can get all of these links in the show notes at five minutes with dad.com in case you haven't written them down. Enjoy the show. All right. Who's ready for an awesome episode of five minutes with dad. Me. We are doing something really cool and really special right now. Right. Pavlos. Tell everybody where we normally record our shows. Upstairs. Upstairs in our house or way upstairs in the office. So either in Pavlos's room or upstairs in the attic. Today, are we higher or lower than that? Higher. Yeah, we're recording. That's why it's a little noisy right now. We're going to see how well we can fix it with the post-production editing. Because sometimes there are some noises that we're able to remove. But right now, we're hearing a big hissing sound in our background. And a lot of crinkles and voices because we're taking our show on the road. Right now, we are where, Pavlos? On the AP. That's right. We are currently on an airplane 37,000 feet. Above the ground, 37,017 feet, 37,000 feet. How high do you think that is? Way higher than us. That's right. A how, giant size. A super giant size, huh? And do you know how fast we're going? Uh, no. How fast do you think a car goes? Like. Yeah, a car, the fastest that we drive a car is on the highway and the speed limit there is what, honey? Hey, you got to talk into the microphone so people can hear you. Yeah, right. We're like, I can see the boosters out there. Yeah, there are booster jet engines on our plane. So we're on an airplane and we're going 442 miles per hour, 37,000 and now 24 feet. Blue. What, honey? Hang on. You got to talk into blue and gray. You got to talk into the microphone. Say it one more time. Our airplane has blue and gray. That's right. We're in a blue and gray airplane, 
because we're flying down to Florida for our special vacation to see something special. What? Remember, we talked about it before in another recording. To go to a wedding. Yeah, we're going to a wedding. So we're on the airplane. It's a little bit noisy. And Pavlos and I are hanging out. And we figured we would bring our microphone so we can talk about flying. Pavlos, did you have an awesome start to the day? School. Yeah, Pavlos went to school today. And then we picked him up early to bring him to the airport. We zoomed down in the car. And Pavlos got stickers and wings. And we had a great time getting on the airplane. Uh, everybody was so happy to see Pavlos, huh, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, and Pavlos helped with his sister. And we got through security. And we waited for the airplane. And then we got on the plane, and Pavlos picked his seat right next to the what? Window. And the, in, my, in, the air, in the wings have blue writing. Yep. The flight attendants gave Pavlos wings. Pavlos and back. Another one, too. Yeah, the lady who checked us in to say get on the airplane gave wings. And then when we got on the airplane, they gave Pavlos and Angela more wings. And now more. And the flight attendant said that Pavlos could go meet the pilots afterwards, huh? Yeah. What do you think you might want to ask the pilots? Nothing. Nothing? You just want to say hi? Whoa, look at how fiery we are. Yeah, oh. Yeah, they just made an announcement on our airplane, so we had to wait until it was done because they recycle on our plane, right? Yay. Yeah, so Pavlos is going to go meet the pilot. And what did they say about the pilot? How many are there? A girl and a boy and two. Yeah, so they said Pavlos and Angela can go and maybe even take a picture with the pilots. Would that be cool or what? Really cool. Maybe you can tell the pilots about what you're saving up for, remember? Which way did the pilots go? That's where they... Are we flying that way or that way? We're flying the way we're, we're looking. And that pilots are way up front. Then why are they flying like this? Fly pilots, I think, usually just go there and fly. Yeah, the pilots are in the front behind that door that's locked because they want to make sure that they're safe in there and that they fly everybody safely to where they're going. Is that cool? Yeah. Yeah. So Pavlos is going to meet the pilots, and we're going to take some pictures, and we are going to have a lot of fun, huh? Yeah. Can you think of two things you might want to ask the pilots? What do you do? What, honey? What do you do? What do you do? Yeah. Maybe you can tell the pilots about your flying car. I'm going to buy a flying car. Yeah, and you can ask them if they have ever flown a flying car and tell them that you met a real flying car pilot. Remember the lady who flies flying cars that we met? Do you remember her name? It was a long time ago. No. Yeah, Miss Vanessa, wasn't it? Mom. Yeah, and she was really nice to us, and she said that she would save you a pink flying car, so save up your money, right? Yeah. So now we're in a flying airplane. It's almost like a flying car, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Pablos, I think we're going to get going and maybe we'll do another show later in the flight to talk about it huh no that button tells the the flight attendants that you need you're in trouble or you need something why well that button if you push it then a light goes on out here this this lights up or it goes on in the hallway and you hear a ding and then the the flight attendants will look around to see who needs help where the light I think in this airplane, the lights are just the buttons. The button will light up. There's a light underneath it. That's why it's white. But how will they see from there? How will they see from there to here? They'll duck their heads and look to see who has. They'll walk down the aisle and look to see whose button is lit up. Like if they press theirs, they would need something. Yeah. Do you think it's fun to be a flight attendant? Yeah. What would be your favorite part about being a flight attendant? Hungry. Getting all the snacks. Yeah. I don't think they're going to, they're all eating snacks all day. They're working, helping everyone else. Mm. Are you still hungry? Yeah. Well, maybe we can ask for some more snacks or we can get, oh, you have snacks right there. How about we, how about we say bye to everyone? Thank you for listening and say, we'll do another show maybe when we're done with bye, our snacks. Thank you for listening. We'll do another show maybe if we're done with our kisses. Kisses. Bye-bye.
So there you have it. Another episode of Five Minutes with Dad in the books. Thanks again for those who have picked up Confessions of a Terrible Husband, Lessons Learned from a Lumpy Couch, our marriage book. If you haven't yet, you can get it at aterriblehusband.com slash book if you want signed versions or group purchases with to read it along with your group. Or you can go right to five minutes with dad.com slash marriage book, and that'll send you right over to Amazon to get your print or Kindle version. And check out the resource of the week, Gretchen Rubin's Happier at Home book at five minutes with dad.com slash happier at home. Or if you want it for free and are not yet a member of Audible, you can get the audiobook for free by going to audibletrial.com slash Nick. We'll see you next time. Thank you for listening to 5 Minutes with Dad. To connect with Pavlos, Angela, and Nick, subscribe to the 5 Minutes with Dad newsletter at 5minuteswithdad.com.